some perspective now on China's military budget. In 2013, the country had the world's second largest defense budget at over $112 billion. That accounted for 2% of China's gross domestic product. By comparison, the United States spent the most with a $600 billion budget, or about 4% of GDP. Russia ranked third with a budget close to $68 billion. Saudi Arabia was fourth with $60 billion. And the United Kingdom ranked fifth in the world with $57 billion spent on defense. By 2015, China's military budget is set to surpass the top three European nations combined. That's the UK, France, and Germany. But is a bigger Chinese military good for the world? That's the question other governments are asking, especially those in the West. CCTV Sean Caleb's reports. China recently announced it will be adding a second aircraft carrier to its fleet and wants to build more in the coming decade. And that will cost a lot of money. It's part of the reason China just announced it's raising its defense spending by more than 12 percent this year to about 132 billion U.S. dollars. Some say if our defense capability increases, we cannot develop peacefully. But if China's development and prosperity are accompanied by a weak defense capability, can this mean peace? China continues to invest in its military, upgrading high-tech weapons and its combat readiness. With 2.1 million troops, the largest army in the world, pay raises and better training will eat up part of the increase. Many of China's neighbors, however, see growing investment in military spending as a way of flexing its muscles and presence in the Pacific region. We must, ladies and gentlemen, restrain military expansion in Asia, which could otherwise go unchecked. China has repeatedly said it wants to increase its military as a form of deterrence and to improve combat capability in the information age. The Chinese People's Liberation Army is not Boy Scouts with spears. Some foreigners always expect China to be a Boy Scout who will never grow up. In that case, how can we safeguard national security and world peace? Defense experts say China has lacked the ability to extend its military strength beyond its borders. But China caught much of the world off guard last November when it announced that it would enforce an air defense identification zone over a region that included the disputed Daiyu Islands. It coincided with a number of events, including the United States' proclaimed Asian pivot to focus more of its military attention on the Pacific, a plan applauded by many U.S. allies. I think it's also in Europe's interest uh, that the United States uh, engage more actively in the Asia-Pacific region, uh, taking into account the rise of emerging powers like China. Uh, secondly, I, I do not see that pivot to Asia take place um, at the expense. China says its military budget is designed to promote peace through strength and that much of the funding will go for new, high-tech weapons and for border, coastal and air defense. While China earmarks more money for military spending than any other country except for the U.S., even with the U.S. reducing its defense budget and China increasing its, the United States still outspends China's military by a three-to-one margin. Sean Caleb, CCTV, Washington.